Rosalind Franklin is a scientist and um, she was um, involved in researching many things, but this particular play is about her research into um, DNA. She's Jewish, she's a scientist, she's female. There's so many things that um, put her into a world with her defenses up. When I first read this play, I thought it was still so relevant. Um, and it's relevant because one, the female part of it, where uh, you, you're still a lot of times fighting for your voice and for your identity um, in uh, a world that can be dominated, isn't always, but can be dominate, male dominated. And, um, but also it's, it's about a, um, a person who is in a showman. And I think that's really interesting. She's committed, but she's very pure in her commitment and she's not someone that's able to sell herself, which I think is fascinating in this day and age because a lot of things the younger generation are being taught is sell, sell, sell. And then you go on to, you know, whatever you're going on to, but the glory comes through that. And this story, emphasizes that there is incredible virtue in not sort of um, not selling yourself on a superficial level staying committed to what you do and and that's enough that can be enough in a life my father was a scientist he was a biochemist um, he got his PhD in biochemistry um, and I was raised uh, in America because of that and he went to um, uh, the Institute of Health in Washington DC which is where he did his PhD but my memory as a child is science labs because um, my mother worked she worked in hospitals my father worked in science labs and um, and so I remember hanging out in a science lab you know playing playing with test tubes sort of and it wasn't particularly interesting to me but it wasn't also it wasn't sort of an overwhelming environment either I felt very at ease there and I am um, I have a picture very similar to the picture of Rosalind Franklin with my father in a lab coat looking down a microscope. And um, so that's a very much a part of my desire to um, pay tribute, I suppose, to the scientists of the world with this play. I started acting when I was 14 and I didn't start in film. I started catching the bus to go to a theatre, which was a little theatre called Phillip Street Theatre, and I would go in and and sit in there on a Saturday in the dark with all the great plays that we, would be thrust upon us like Tennessee, all the Tennessee Williams and Arthur Millers and, and then we'd be doing Beckett and I mean a whole array of things and we were so young, didn't understand what we were doing but I loved it and it was safe, it was my protection you know and I've always said that as a pale skinned red headed girl um, as I sit here with my straight hair, having straightened my hair out, <laughs> um, that, the beach wasn't where I was safe, the theatre was. And so I come because this, that's where I could be in the dark and I could lose myself and become somebody else. And that still exists today. I love losing myself and becoming somebody else.